An enum, short for enumeration, is a set of named values that we can create and use in our code. They have no special meaning to Swift, but they are more efficient and safer to work with, and so you're going to use them a lot in your code. I want to show you the problem they're trying to solve first. Let's say you want to write some code to let the user select a day of the week. You might start out like this. Var selected equals Monday. Very nice. Later on in your code, you change it, like so. Selected is now Tuesday. And that might work great in simple programs, but look at this code here. Selected equals January. We've accidentally typed a month in here rather than a day. What would our code do? Could it handle that? Well, maybe you're lucky enough to have one of your colleagues spot the problem while they're reviewing your code, they're checking your code. But how about this kind of code? Selected equals Friday, space. And that little space at the end makes it a different string to Friday without the space. And so what would your code do? Would it handle that correctly? Now using strings for storing this kind of thing takes, as you can see, some very careful programming, but it's also pretty inefficient. Do we really have to store F-R-I-D-A-Y just to know which day of the week it is? This is where enums come in. We can define a, a whole new type with a particular set of values inside that can have only these values here. Think of a Boolean. A Boolean can be true or it can be false. It can't be maybe or perhaps or probably or anywhere in between. It's not in the range of possible options. It's either true or it's false. And enums are the same. We get to say up front the range of values our enum could possibly have so you can never make a mistake while using them. And so we could rewrite our weekday as an enum. The enum weekday, open brace, and then in the middle, we add all the possible cases we want to support. So I'll say the weekdays are gonna be Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. So the enum is called weekday, and it provides five cases to handle the five weekdays. And now, rather than using strings, we can use the enum. I want to try this in your playground. Here's my enum weekday. I'm going to say var day equals weekday dot Monday. And then day equals weekday dot Tuesday. Or day equals weekday dot Friday. And with this change, you can no longer accidentally use Friday with a space at the end as a string or say weekday.january, it doesn't exist. You must always choose one of the values, like Swift's literally warning me, January, it's not a weekday, it doesn't work. And it'll even tell you when you press weekday dot, here are the ones you can choose from, Friday, Tuesday, Monday, Thursday, and Wednesday. Because it knows you're gonna select one of those cases. Now Swift does two things that make enums a little easier to use. First, when you have many cases inside your enum, like this here, you can, if you want to, just write case once, then use commas to separate each case. So I could have said case Monday, comma Tuesday, uh, comma Wednesday, comma Thursday, comma Friday. So There's a shorter way to write out all the possible cases for your enum. And second, Remember, when you assign a value to a variable or constant like we're doing here, its data type becomes fixed. You can't set uh, a variable to a string at first, then try and put an integer in it later on. It's not allowed. Well, for enums, this means you can skip the name after the first assignment. I said here, weekday.monday, but then I can do day equals just dot Tuesday or day equals dot Friday. And Swift knows dot Tuesday must mean weekday dot Tuesday because day was made to be a weekday. And Friday must mean weekday dot Friday. Now, although it's not visible here, one major benefit of enums is that Swift stores them in a highly optimized way. When we say weekday dot Monday, Swift will basically store that as zero and Tuesday as one or similar. We don't know or care internally what it's doing. It's a highly optimized way, which is much more efficient than storing, in this case, uh, 
M-O-N-D-A-Y. So enums are safer for us to work with, but also faster for Swift to work with.